What is going on, everybody? We got a little breaking news or news that broken or the, <laughs> the premonition, any something, something. Uh, but we're talking a little bit of some news that came out about Linda McMahon, um, Mika Mahan, if you want to say it that way. Um, she became the small business administrator. Um, Donald Trump announced this today, I think, if I'm not mistaken, at least is when I got the article um, that Casey sent me. It's funny, Casey <laughs> sent me the article and then wanted me to host it. Anyway, um, but that's pretty interesting. My birthday. Be- you do what I want. It's pretty interesting, uh, just because I guess she'll kind of be overseeing the uh, the small businesses. Um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, Trump <clears throat> talks about how she's a phenomenal leader and uh, a champion. Where where does quote go? I, I need that. I was reading that. Come on now. Um, phenomenal leader and a champion for for small businesses. So I, I think I think he's hoping that she can help the uh, small businesses grow in America. Um, I mean, I know she knows some stuff about business, and I, th- I mean, I think, like, Casey was talking to me about how, like, WWE's not necessarily a small business, but I think running a bigger business is a little bit, like, like it prepares you to run a smaller business. When you run a smaller business, like, you, like I can't run this podcast, and then they'd be like, you know what, you should, you should go run the uh, podcast, Wrestling of America podcast that has like eight th- eight million um, people subscribe to it and eight million uh, hosts on it. You know, it, it would be a little bit easier for me to go from that big vi- venture to the smaller venture instead of going from the smaller venture to the bigger venture. I, I feel like just a personal, you know, o- opinion. You know, you don't just go from like a 32-inch TV to a 64-inch TV. Well, I guess Black Friday come around and then anyway, um, my my camera just cut off because LOL. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> but um, I I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. It's it's, it's an interesting thing. I I I I kind of was curious to see like why he picked Linda of all people. Like I know she's been wanting to get into politics and trying to get into politics, but. Like, I wonder why he would pick Linda in general. Um, you know, I know, I guess they have a history. Okay, all right, camera, GG. Um, but I guess they have, I know it was weird, wasn't it? Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess they have like a history with one another, just working together and, and uh, at least in that short time he was in WWE. But still, like, I don't, I don't like, would that tell him enough about her business savvy to know? Um, and I and I guess she's still doing the politics thing, so I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this, but um, you know, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I guess if she was able to help run the business operations with WWE, no, I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly what she did with WWE, but if she was able to help, you know, run the business operations for WWE, um, you know, it being as big as it is, I think you know her helping out small businesses is not necessarily a bad thing, but. Casey, thoughts on Linda Meek Mahan um, being named as a small business administrator? Uh, I mean, I, I just thought it was interesting. I, I know throughout the whole um, election, I, uh, you know, part of my mind was on the WWE just because, you know, we, we know the history between um, – Vince and Donald Trump, you know, that they, they've been friends for years. I mean, um, they had two WrestleManias back to back at, uh, his, uh, casino. So, you know, uh, I I was wondering, you know, if they were supporting him, if, you know, what was going on with that. And then, um, my sister actually told me that she heard about, um, Linda being, uh, named the, uh, head of the small business administration, whatever, um, uh, for, for Trump's administration, um, which, you know, it, it's, it's for me, it kind of, in a way kind of eases my mind a little bit just because, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you shouldn't talk about politics or whatever, but I didn't vote for Trump, you know, just, 
throwing it out there. I did. What? I know, I know. How could you? Like, I mean, the man won. Everyone in America voted for Trump. <laughs> yeah, except <laughs> obvious. Hillary got the popular vote. <laughs> what? Um, no, but I, I didn't vote for him, and you know. With all these people that he's, you know, naming to his administration, you always hear, you know, we're worried about this guy because of so-and-so or whatever. And, you know, th there's always these questions with who is he naming to his administration. And I feel like from my years of experience of, you know, knowing of not, I, I don't want to say knowing Linda McMahon because I don't know her personally, you know, we, we, we don't hang out on the weekends. So, so y'all like, like drinking buddies or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we chill. Um, but I, I feel like we kind of, for the most part, know Linda McMahon. She's kind of the, the, the if you want to say, the, the calmer head in, you know, the, the McMahon family sort of thing. Um, and, you know, so I, I feel like she's somebody that you can kind of, I feel like I can trust. I, I think I think you should have named Vince the uh, vice president. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, God. oh God. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, 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 I kind of feel a little bit different on DJ's point though on the uh, you know going from a big business to a small business. I yes, you know. Linda McMahon is very personable. You know, she, you know, she cares about people and things like that. And I think she could, you know, work well with small businesses, but I, I don't think that's always necessarily the, you know, the, how it goes with big businesses. You know, um, I, I don't think, you know, if you put the typical, you know, CEO of, you know, a huge company and then, you know, had them run a small mom and pop shop. I, I don't think it would work out well just because they, for the most part, they don't really know how to really interact with the general public, with people, which, which is, you know, smaller businesses. It's, you know, works one-on-one -on -one with the general public. It's not, yeah. it's more, uh, it's more of a local thing. It's not like a, like, like it's yeah. kind of like a, a local station focuses on like the local sports. Whereas you would never hear like a bigger state, like ESPN is not going to focus on, you know, those sports in Martinsville, man, you know, they, they do it for good. And that's like, like they do something like really either crazy or really big, but like, they're not going to be like, yeah, you know, the, the big old, you know, Martinsville. For, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going to pretend to know a ton about politics cause I don't, I don't, I, I mean, I don't. this man can't even read. I can't, I can't, read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good reader. Um, you know, um, I, I, when I was in eighth grade, I, I did read at a college level, but I'm not a good reader. I'm not just, uh, it's a fact, but, uh, I mean, it's still definitely an interesting thing, and it you know, anytime somebody from you know the wrestling world, as as wrestling fans, we kind that go into politics. I think we kind of it, it, it it's kind of it's cool for us, you know. Uh, we we've always you know wanted or, or you know wondered you know if so and so ran for president, you know what 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 would it be like. Um, and while we, we haven't gotten to that point, um, I, I think it, it's definitely going to be interesting how, how it works out. Um, maybe this, this does help her, you know, with her political career. Um, I, I know obviously there was issues with her political career just because she was, um, directly affiliated with the WWE and, you know, oh no, professional wrestling, it's violence, it's blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you know, we can go to war for oil and killing it. You know, that's cool. That's cool. But don't hit somebody with a steel chair. Don't do that. Anyway. Um. <laughs> but I thought, I thought wrestling was fake. Like, remember that? <laughs> like, 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 wrestling doesn't matter. Until like something like that comes up, like like wrestling doesn't matter until someone actually tries to like 
do something productive in their lives. Like, oh, weren't you, you know, over that wrestling stuff? Wait, you didn't care. <laughs> you didn't care until now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, may, maybe that will help her with her, you know, getting into politics or being, getting more success with politics. Uh, Cause I mean, if, if Donald Trump can do it, anybody, anybody can become president. I, I'm, 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 putting, I'm, I'm putting my, uh, my name in the, in the hat now, uh, you know, for, for, uh, you know, 20, you know, 2020, it's my year, my year, baby. He, he had to do the math there. He had to. <laughs> I, no, I just had to remember what year the election was. On. It was such a crazy election. Sometimes you just forget. But yeah. Uh, I mean, plus I was thinking, what if Donald Trump has two two terms? I was like, oh God. I don't want to run against Donald Trump. No. 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 Please no. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I, 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 am, I am done. I am. I am done. You may move on. All right. Um, that was your breaking news that has just been broken. Um, I think we need Maxwell to run for president. I think it needs to happen. You know, the king, he's already the king. So, I mean, you know, one step down, just be president, right? That's how it works. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't think he's old enough yet. A couple more years would be good. Um, but anyway. That was your breaking news. Hope you guys enjoy. You want more breaking news that we probably actually know a little bit more about? You know, let us know because this one was one that Casey threw on me and was like, ha, 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 ha. you can host this one. <laughs> I see what he did. I see what he did. <laughs> but anyway, um, we do hope you guys enjoyed. We'll, we'll see you guys later. Peace.